Multiple contact! Yeah! 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 <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> is going out freaks my name is freaky and welcome back to another best gun class setup in call of duty black ops 3 today we're gonna be taking a look at the slow firing hard punching gut crunching man of war assault rifle this assault rifle has been buffed and buffed time and time again and even when it was buffed i still didn't use it because it wasn't my favorite weapon of choice since the game came out, this weapon was kind of used and not used, and when it started getting buffed, it was used more, and I kind of like fell out of that realm. I was like, hey, I don't really like the Man of War. Once I used it, it was shitty. The recoil is bouncing up and down, and you know, it, it packs a punch, but it's just too slow of a firing rate, and I don't know how to manage and play uh, with this gun to my playstyle, but I ended up as I was going for diamond on my assault rifles, I ended up finding this class setup for you guys today. And in this gameplay, I end up going on a 25 brutal metal using this class setup. And I wanted to use Nuketown for an example as of a gameplay, because this gun is not meant for any sort of short, you know, gun engagement at all. It's not. It's just, it's something that you want to use for a long range weapon and kind of hold down OBJs from afar. But in this gameplay, I wanted to showcase that even with this class setup, you can get into small, close-range gunfights and still be sort of successful with this weapon, even though because of its fire rate. So, without further ado, let's head into the class setup here. The attachments we have today are Elosite, Quick Draw, Grip, and Stock. Elosites is just because the Man of War's Iron Sights aren't too good for the gunfights you're going to be getting into, to be perfectly honest. Quick Draw and Stock actually come in handy. They're kind of like a duo that work together for the people that are going to just surprise you out of nowhere because you're going to be able to pull up your gun right away, lock on the target, but not only are you going to do that, you can stray from left to right and uh, make sure that you're moving faster than they are, and if you have better accuracy, you're going to probably win even those close range gunfights with this weapon and grip is just because we don't want to have this gun recoiling more than it already does in certain gunfights and uh, to be honest I don't want to flinch more uh, when I'm getting hit by like uh, you know a PO6 or something like that now the perk setup we have today are scavenger tactical mask and blast suppressor scavenger is just because I like to go for higher streaks with this class setup because this thing does pack a punch it is a heavy uh, hitting weapon and I feel like you could easily get those three pieces four pieces and uh, just get those nice kill streaks if you're going and running into their spawn or finding a whole group of people. And I think that's really awesome. But you don't want to run out of ammo, so you have scavenger packs. Tactical mask, it's just because, perfectly honest, I put this on all my classes. Because I don't want to get stunned. I don't, I hate it. I hate getting stunned in Call of Duty. I really, really don't like it. It's a pet peeve for me. So I always have tactical mask on. And uh, blast suppressor, which is weird. This is the weird thing, guys. I never have Blast Suppressor on. I never use it at whatsoever in this game. But for me, I put this on this class setup, and I've been using it for a long time. I haven't changed the class setup at all since I've been using it. And for some reason, Blast Suppressor aids the Man of War. It really helps it out. And I don't know if it's just because the Man of War's, uh, you know, fire rate is so slow that you jumping around the map a whole bunch and being aggressive with this weapon, uh, they don't see you on the mini map, so you kind of had that advantage and that edge on the enemy, especially when you have quick draw and stock. You kind of, you're faster with the Man of War, and it makes you kind of stealthy in a way, and I feel like you can flank people a little bit easier, and if you see someone and you want to go on a head-on-head -head gunfight with him, if you jump right at him, he probably won't even notice that you're really there because you're so silent uh, because you have Blast Suppressor on. So... This has been the best gun class setup for the Man of War, uh, which is ridiculous. I never, like I said, I never thought I'd actually fall in love with this gun because I've always had like sort of a pet peeve with this weapon. And I was always like, what the hell? I don't like this weapon. This weapon's weird. It's, it's kind of silly. It's like Scar H's like little brother that's just dumb and doesn't know how to recoil at all. He just bounces all over the place. It's like a freaking horse that's bucking. It's annoying. I don't know. But hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know as always for these best gun class setups how you do 
in a match with this class setup let me know in the comment section your leaderboards kd and everything and uh, also if you want to check out any other best gun class setups i have on the channel there'll be a link in the description to a playlist you can go to or you can watch at the end of the video and click on the annotation in the outro otherwise if you're new around here hit that subscribe button and i guess i will catch your pretty faces in the next video